After completing one mural, the artist behind the Francis Scott Key Bridge Memorial has now begun another one. The original has been placed in storage and a Baltimore museum could soon own it. Dennis Valera met with the artist to talk about the plans. Mixing his paints, Roberto Marquez is working to fill a new set of large canvases at the Keybridge Memorial. The original mural was stored indoors Tuesday, and when that happened, the victim's families told Marquez they'd like to see another mural for their loved ones. There were people that also were thinking, what is it that, uh, that we don't have anything of our own family that, uh, that we wanted to have it, you know, in the... Uh, in the painting. Marquez also felt the memorial was missing something. The crosses, flags, and other elements of the memorial are staying along Fort Armistead Road. I was thinking uh, I cannot leave, you know, uh, the crosses just alone. We wouldn't have a background that uh, not only if it was not going to look good, but also it's going to be like a vacuum, like a, a void. Marquez has been in talks with the Baltimore Museum of Industry to take the original mural, but nothing's been finalized. In a statement to WJZ, the Baltimore Museum of Industry says the mural would be part of a larger collection preserving the legacy of the Key Bridge, the Port of Baltimore, and the six construction workers who died. Due to the strain of having to travel back and forth between Dallas, Texas, and Baltimore, Marquez has been figuring out how to permanently house or find others to care for the memorial. So this time, supposedly, I was going to come just for to uh, finish the original painting and have somebody else being varnish it, and then going back and like goodbye. But he couldn't pass on creating a new mural. The victims' families are helping with the creative direction. I changed my uh, my flag. I'm going to move it back as. as as much as I need it so that I can finish this. Marquez intends to get parts of the new mural into other museums when it's completed, if the victim's families give their blessing. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Dennis Valera for WJC.